We're now inside the passage tomb here at Newgrange, and I'm joined by Professor Tom Ray, who's an interest in astroarchaeology, and he's from the Dublin Institute of Advanced Studies. Tell me, Professor, what would the people who built this chamber 5,000 years ago, what would they have seen? Well, they would have seen something quite, quite different from what we see today. Um, 3,200 BC, when this monument was built, the tilt of the Earth's axis was a little bit different than it is now. And I think most people know this tilt gives us the seasons. It gives us our winter and our summer. Uh, the tilt then was a little bit larger. And the net result of that was that the days, the, uh, the shortest day of the year was a bit shorter and the longest day of the year was that little bit longer. Um, it also meant that the sun would have risen a little bit further south on the shortest day of the year. Now, What's very interesting about Newgrange is, I think most people know about the roof box at the entrance, but you mightn't realise that as they walk in, the floor rises, such that the actual floor here is level with the roof box. And that means that when the sun rose 3200 BC, the light would have actually reached across the floor and way back into the chamber there. Nowadays, we have to wait about 11 minutes before the sun actually enters the chamber. The result of that is that it, it, the sun actually, the sunlight ends up more or less in the middle of this main chamber here. So the builders of Newgrange actually built it so it was perfect for sunrise in 3200 BC. Nowadays, of course, we can do it with modern equipment very, very easily. But for somebody from 3200 BC to try and actually determine the point of what we call the, the winter solstice would have, been, would have been difficult enough. But it does indicate that they were extremely intelligent and very civilised people.